Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Telesyn U-shaped neck holder mount. This is a mount that goes around your neck. So it's sort of like a necklace with a mount that you can use to mount GoPros and smartphones and stuff like that. I've been checking one of these out for a minute. They look kind of cool, but let's unbox it, see what it looks like, and then try it out and see how this thing performs in the real world. So, here we go. All right, here is the box. We can see there's just a little branding that says Telesyn, and then we can see it says U-shape neck holder mount, and this is what it's going to look like right there. Nothing except a little branding on the side, nothing on the top, nothing on the, on the side. Yeah, we have the Telesyn.cn on the on there, nothing on the bottom. On the back here, it just says that this is the model number TE-HNB-001. And this is the U-shape neck holder mount. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's cut through this tape here so that we can uh, we can get through this and we can uh, we can get it out and try it out and see how this thing is actually going to perform. Now I hear some parts. I hear some parts in there jiggling around. So it looks like there's going to be a few things that we might be able to put together and configure here. So let's see here. Looks like we're going to get a user guide here. It's a little clear user guide too, kind of cool. All right, there's that. It looks like, oh yep, we do. We have, a, we have a few pieces in here. We actually get a phone mount that comes with it. Very nice, so that's gonna be nice. We can mount up a phone. We're also gonna be able to mount up a GoPro because we have some GoPro teeth on there as well. And uh, yes, a locking knob on here. So we, uh, we should have everything that we need to get this thing uh, going. So let me set this over here. We have this one here, this little uh, adjustment arm here. So we'll set that there. And let's go ahead and uh, let's sort of read through this. It says, uh, mounting the camera. It's gonna show you how to mount this, how to mount the camera onto the, uh, onto the, the, uh, the GoPro fingers there. And then it says, connect the camera to the magnetic adapter. And it says insert magnetic adapter into the hole. And then you can turn the magnetic uh, adapter clockwise first and then pull out the magnetic adapter. That's for disassembling there. All right, there we go. I really like that. That's kind of cool because it's definitely uh, sturdy. It's going to hold up if you need to uh, if you need to use this again. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this thing put together and and then uh, try it out. And I'll show you what it looks like when once I have it on. All right, let's go ahead and put my GoPro on here and then I will show you how to actually get this thing around your neck so that you can wear it. And let's go ahead and just put it on here. So this is magnetic right here. We're gonna go ahead and just, uh, we'll set this right here and we are going to just uh, put this and get the magnets uh, set in there just like that. Now, you, can, uh, you wanna adjust this so that you can have your GoPro at whatever angle it is that you want and then you can lock that down. And if you wanna take it off, you just simply twist and then you can pull out to uh, to get this out. So you just need to, let's see, let's get that twisted and there you go, you can pull it out. And when you wanna put it back in there, you just put it back in, the magnets will be there and it locks right in. Now, to uh, get this around your neck, you may notice on the back here, there is a button right here. We're gonna push that and then it's going to come out and we're gonna see there that this is where it goes into. So when you wanna put it back, you just simply put that right back in there, it locks back into place. So. Let's go ahead, put this there. We'll, uh, we'll put this around our neck right here. And then we will get this uh, locked back into place here. See if we can get that in there because since I can't really see it too well. Let's see here. Um, let's see. It can be a little tricky here because the way this is designed, I can't really see it. So, but such is the way of wearing necklaces. Now, if you're gonna do this, it might be easier if you do this in the mirror or something until you get the hang of it, because yeah, as you can see right now, I'm struggling a little bit to get this thing in there. So, oh, there we go, we have it in, and all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and there we go, I have that. Now I have my GoPro right in front of me, and now I can do a point of view shot if I wanted to and have this right here, which is really kind of nice. So. Now, the only downside that I've seen with everything that they've given me here is that the, uh, is the phone mount right here that they've given me, um, it doesn't have any GoPro teeth on it. And it does, they, do, they haven't given me any adapters on here that will work with a, um, that will work with 
the uh, the quarter twenty thread on here. So nothing seems to work with that. This looks like maybe some sort of adapter, to, like an extension adapter or something. But I think what they should have included is something like this. And this is a uh, a phone mount that has the GoPro fingers on here so that you can mount this right on in there and then get this going. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and mount this up and see if I can actually put my phone on here as well. All right, so I went ahead and mounted the phone on here. So I have my iPhone 14 Pro Max on here and it does mount up. I just was able to use that other phone mount that had the GoPro fingers on here. So let's go ahead and get this thing around my neck and see how it, uh, how it fits and how it feels. So let me push the button here and get that around. We'll push this right around here and let's see here. Now this thing is made out of sort of a soft adjustable angled sort of like a gooseneck type material. So it's gonna be fairly easy to, to get the angle and the adjustment that you need. And let's see if I can get this thing in there. And yeah, it's gonna take a little getting used to to make sure I get this thing in just the right place, in the right position. So uh, let's see here, let's, there we go. Trying to find it, trying to find the hole. <laughs> it's like being 15 again. All right, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, this is uh, this is something else. Okay, well, I may have to go and actually look in the mirror and see if I can, oh wait, there we go, we have it. All right, so there we go. Now you can make some adjustments on here. It does have, it's easy to sort of adjust this. So if you wanna tighten it down or loosen it up a little bit, get the angle right, you can do that. And now I have my phone right here and I can adjust this up or down if I wanna adjust this up. Or if I wanna adjust it down, if I'm trying to shoot something right here and I'm doing something with my hands, I can adjust that, I can angle that just uh, right so it's, uh, it's filming. And yeah, this is gonna be really, really nice. So I wanna, I wanna go outside a little bit and, and film because, well, as we know, smartphones and GoPros, these sort of smaller action cameras, they're not the best inside. So I wanna get an idea of what this looks like if I'm outside somewhere and I'm walking around and I wanna show you something, like maybe I wanna show you my watch or something. I want to be able to see what this is going to look like as I'm outside just moving and walking. All right, so I am out here now and I have the Telesyn U-shape mount hooked up to me and I have my, uh, my iPhone here. I'm using my iPhone 14 Pro Max right now and I have the extender on here so we can see what that looks like. And let's just go ahead and uh, I'm going to put my GoPro in front of me so we can see what it looks like if I want to show what I'm doing with my hands. So we can... Uh, we can see right here, I have my, uh, my GoPro right here in front of me. And if I want to walk you through, I can say here's my, uh, here's my Rode Wireless Go uh, microphone with the cable hooked up. I have the, uh, the media mod right there, so everything is, uh, is right there. I have a little mini tripod right here as well. And you're able to see all of this because of this U-shape mount that's allowed me to have my phone hooked up at a camera angle that gives me sort of a first person view of what I would see if I was looking down at this same kit right here. So now you can angle this up if you wanna give yourself sort of a first person walking view. But to do that, let's swap them out. I'll, I'll take my camera off, my, uh, my phone off, I'll put my GoPro on and we'll take a look at that scenario and how that situation looks if, it look, if it's looking more straight on like a straight POV walking shot. All right, well, I went ahead and switched up the cameras here. And so now I have my GoPro Hero 11 Black mounted to the U-shaped neck mount. And I'm filming with my iPhone 14 Pro Max. And let's just go ahead and walk a little bit. I took off the uh, extension adapter on there. So uh, right now I'm filming with just the regular uh, GoPro mount and the, uh, and the extension is, is in my pocket here. So let's go ahead and walk. I have the angle of the uh, camera pointed forward a bit. So we're gonna get much more of a first person uh, perspective more of just a straightforward view here. So we're just gonna go ahead and walk a bit. And now when you're using this, uh, this U-shaped mount, you can run with it, but it's not really designed for that, I don't believe. I think it's much more designed if you wanna walk with your, uh, with your GoPro or your phone or something, or even if you're just doing some sort of, uh, some, something where you need much more of a first person view. And, and so that's gonna be able to give it to you. So 
I don't think you should run with this, but maybe you can. But if you're doing something else, maybe if you're riding a bike or riding a scooter or something, or if you're driving in a car and you want to get that first person perspective of your hands on the steering wheel or something, maybe any of that could work well using a, uh, using this mount like this. So anyways, there's plenty of times that I can already think of where I would have really have enjoyed having this mount. And there's gonna be plenty of times in the future that I use it. Well, there you go. That is a look at the Telesane U-shape neck mount holder. And yeah, I have to say this thing is really pretty cool. It works great with smartphones. It works great with GoPros. It will work great with, for instance, like your DJI Action. And it's just a fantastic way to really get a nice sort of POV shot, especially if you're doing something with your hands and you wanna be able to show what you're doing. It's really, really nice for that. Now, another thing that I like about this is because you have this, uh, this sort of magnetic quick release, you can simply, you know, you simply twist it and then pull to get this, uh, to get this off. You just simply twist, pull, it comes off. And now if you don't wanna see this in your shot, which is great if you're a creator, you can just simply go ahead and tuck it in, especially if you're wearing something like a hoodie like this, you can just have it tucked in so that you don't even see it. And then when you need it, you just simply pull it out, connect your, uh, connect your camera again and get your shot. So it's very, very nice, very cool. I'm digging this thing. I plan to use it quite a bit in the future, so expect that you're gonna see some POV shots from me with my hands doing whatever action they need to do. So, and this extension arm right here with this little ball head joint, it makes it so that you can have your camera out a little bit further away from you if you need to. So it comes in handy. Now, I will say, I wish that these pieces on here were made out of metal instead of plastic. I understand why uh, they probably made them out of plastic because they're cheaper. It's cheaper with plastic, it's lighter with plastic, but for durability, especially when you're putting a phone or a camera on a mount like this, I would have preferred to have had metal. So there you go. Anyways, I'll leave a link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out because, well, I think it's kind of awesome. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.